In solid-state physics, a band gap, also called an energy gap or band gap, is an energy range in a solid where no electron states can exist. In graphs of the electronic band structure of solids, the band gap generally refers to the energy difference between the top of the valence band and the bottom of the conduction band in insulators and semiconductors. It is closely related to the HOMO-LUMO gap in chemistry. If the valence band is completely full and the conduction band is completely empty, then electrons cannot move in the solid. However, if some electrons transfer from the valence to the conduction band, then current can flow. Therefore, the band gap is a major factor determining the electrical conductivity of a solid. Substances with large band gaps are generally insulators, those with smaller band gaps are semiconductors. While conductors either have very small band gaps or none, because the valence and conduction bands overlap. In semiconductor physics, every solid has its own characteristic energy band structure. This variation in band structure is responsible for the wide range of electrical characteristics observed in various materials. In semiconductors and insulators, electrons are confined to a number of bands of energy, and forbidden from other regions. The term, band gap, refers to the energy difference between the top of the valence band and the bottom of the conduction band. Electrons are able to jump from one band to another. However, in order for an electron to jump from a valence band to a conduction band, it requires a specific minimum amount of energy for the transition. The required energy differs with different materials. Electrons can gain enough energy to jump to the conduction band by absorbing either a phonon or a photon. A semiconductor is a material with a small but non-zero band gap that behaves as an insulator at absolute zero but allows thermal excitation of electrons into its conduction band at temperatures that are below its melting point. In contrast, a material with a large band gap is an insulator. In conductors, the valence and conduction bands may overlap, so they may not have a band gap. The conductivity of intrinsic semiconductors is strongly dependent on the band gap. The only available charge carriers for conduction are the electrons that have enough thermal energy to be excited across the band gap and the electron holes that are left off when such an excitation occurs. Band gap engineering is the process of controlling or altering the band gap of a material by controlling the composition of certain semiconductor alloys, such as galas, ingars, and anilas. It is also possible to construct layered materials with alternating compositions by techniques like molecular beam epitaxy. These methods are exploited in the design of heterojunction bipolar transistors, laser diodes and solar cells. The distinction between semiconductors and insulators is a matter of convention. One approach is to think of semiconductors as a type of insulator with a narrow band gap. Insulators with a larger band gap, usually greater than 3 electron volts are not considered semiconductors and generally do not exhibit semiconductive behavior under practical conditions. Electron mobility also plays a role in determining a material's informal classification. The band gap energy of semiconductors tends to decrease with increasing temperature. When temperature increases, the amplitude of atomic vibrations increase, leading to larger interatomic spacing. The interaction between the lattice phonons and the free electrons and holes will also affect the band gap to a smaller extent. The relationship between band gap energy and temperature can be described by Varshney's empirical expression, where e.g., alpha and beta are material constants. In a regular semiconductor crystal, the band gap is fixed owing to continuous energy states. In a quantum dot crystal, the band gap is size-dependent and can be altered to produce a range of energies between the valence band and conduction band. It is also known as quantum confinement effect. Band gaps also depend on pressure. Band gaps can be either direct or indirect, depending on the electronic band structure. Mathematical interpretation classically 
The ratio of probabilities that two states with an energy difference delta E will be occupied by an electron is given by the Boltzmann factor, where delta E is the energy difference, K is Boltzmann's constant, T is temperature. At the Fermi level, the probability of a state being occupied is one half. If the Fermi level is in the middle of a band gap of one electron volt, this ratio is E minus 20 or about 2.010 minus 9 at the room temperature thermal energy of 25.9 MeV. Photovoltaic cells The optical band gap determines what portion of the solar spectrum a photovoltaic cell absorbs. A semiconductor will not absorb photons of energy less than the band gap, and the energy of the electron hole pair produced by a photon is equal to the band gap energy. A luminescent solar converter uses a luminescent medium to down-convert photons with energies above the band gap to photon energies closer to the band gap of the semiconductor comprising the solar cell. List of band gaps below a band gap values for some selected materials. For a comprehensive list of band gaps in semiconductors, see List of Semiconductor Materials. Optical versus Electronic Band Gape in materials with a large exciton binding energy, it is possible for a photon to have just barely enough energy to create an exciton, but not enough energy to separate the electron and hole. In this situation, there is a distinction between optical band gap and electrical band gap. The optical band gap is the threshold for photons to be absorbed while the transport gap is the threshold for creating an electron hole pair that is not bound together. In almost all inorganic semiconductors, such as silicon, gallium arsenide, etc., there is very little interaction between electrons and holes, and therefore the optical and electronic band gap are essentially identical, and the distinction between them is ignored. However, in some systems, including organic semiconductors and single-walled carbon nanotubes, the distinction may be significant. In photonics and phenonics, in photonics, band gaps or stop bands are ranges of photon frequencies where, if tunneling effects are neglected, no photons can be transmitted through a material. A material exhibiting this behavior is known as a photonic crystal. The concept of hyperuniformity has broadened the range of photonic band gap materials beyond photonic crystals. By applying the technique in supersymmetric quantum mechanics, a new class of optical disordered materials have been suggested, which support band gaps perfectly equivalent to those of crystals or quasi-crystals. Similar physics applies to phenons in a phenonic crystal. Materials Aluminium gallium arsenide Boron nitride Indium gallium arsenide Indium arsenide Gallium arsenide Gallium nitride Germanium Metallic hydrogen List of electronics Topics Electronics Bandgate voltage reference Condensed matter physics Direct and indirect band gaps Electrical conduction Electron hole Field effect transistor Photodiode Photoresisti Photovoltaics Solar cell Solid state physics Semiconductor Semiconductor devices Strongly correlated material, valence band.